Good morning, ladies. Laura Gabriel here, and yes, I am in my car. I'm in a parking lot. The sun just rose. I'm actually here uh, for a doctor's appointment, and today is all about writing. It's the S in savers stands for scribing, and writing is another spiritual discipline. I really consider it a spiritual discipline. Um, what we choose to write about, how we write, our words on paper are so important. And I've been learning more and more about the connection between um, our spiritual well-being, our pursuit of the Lord, and our writing. That I And I really want to share with, some of it with you today. Still a little tired, just so you know, but... First, before I do, I just want to say how much I love being able to get out so early in the morning before my daughter even wakes up for the day, before my husband really wakes up for the day most of the time to get out of the house. It's really cool. I like driving and seeing how few cars are on the road. I like to be out when it's bright enough, but a lot of the streetlights are still on and I especially love catching the sunrise on the mountains as I drive and there's this beautiful Baptist church and to, this morning I got to see the sun peek behind the spire of the church and it always just feels like a gift, you know, from the Lord. So I want to know, do you have any little creature comforts that you get out of getting up early beyond your time with the Lord? Are there ways that he speaks to you or you feel um, comfy and supported by him as you get out and about um, on your day? I'd love to know what you love about the morning time in general. Okay, so writing. I go to see a counselor sometimes. Um, I just started going because of the pandemic and I'm totally an extrovert in case you can't tell and I realized I wanted to learn some tools to cope with all the changes that have been going on in my life and kind of be proactive with my upcoming pregnancy. With my first pregnancy and birth it was beautiful and then once I had Ava, my daughter, um, we lived in the countryside kind of in rural New Mexico and I felt really isolated even though I had a great church family I wasn't attending church in person as often because of you know thinking about my daughter and germs and stuff like that and now oh my gosh this time it's going to be even more intense so I wanted to kind of proactively um, get some people on my side to talk through some of the challenges. So I'm seeing a, a counselor now. One of the things that she told me, she actually pulled out a study about the written word. And it, it, I told her that I'm a big journaler. I love to write. And in this study she shared with me, they found that journaling out your negative experiences actually increases your feelings of negativity. Your journaled negativity, writing down bad things, is actually counterproductive. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> because I totally write. Sometimes when I'm frustrated, I'll get out a piece of paper and write it down and throw the piece of paper away. Um, or sometimes I almost want my husband to find my journal open, you know, to my frustrated writings. Um, and I, I know from the time, from the time I was a little girl, probably I would use writing, journaling, negative experiences as a form of catharsis. It was amazing to me to find that it has a bad result. And I'm not sure why I found that so surprising because looking back now that I know that it's scientifically proven to be bad, um, 
looking back, I'm like, you know what? It never did actually help me. And it actually brought about like feelings of guilt for having, you know, made a record of this thing that happened. Um, and what I realized is God opened, you know, God always brings it even deeper. God always um, shows us things in a new way. Um, there's a scripture that says, love keeps no record of wrongs. Love keeps no record of wrongs. And God revealed to me privately, just me, like this, I'm not saying this is some kind of everyone needs to do this, but, um, he revealed to me that it was sinful, the act of writing down my frustrations about the people that I love, um, or just like the, all this bad stuff that was, that I felt was happening to me or my bad attitude, that it was sinful. So I came to God in prayer and I said, well, God, <laughs> if I'm not going to be able to write down some of these things, I certainly don't want to say them aloud. And when I write them out, it's because I, deep down, I know that I'm pr probably overreacting. I just need a way to vent. I just need to vent. I don't want to call a friend and vent to a friend because that's like gossip. I don't want to, you know, bother everyone on Facebook with negativity. The world has enough of that and stuff. Um, so I was like, Lord, show me what can I do when I feel this, you know, just I feel like I need to blurt out an outpour. What am I supposed to do instead? And he was really beautiful and really loving. And he said, daughter, come to me in prayer. Come to me in prayer with those frustrations. And I mean, I'm getting chills now, just, just even saying it, but he loves you that much that he's willing to hear, hear all that. And he doesn't get offended. Um, he doesn't take it personally. Um, and what's more, he can actually help you. That piece of paper that we write on, it's, it's great for making memories and keeping memories, <laughs> but bringing it to God in prayer is a level above when it comes to that, that stuff that you really need um, answers for, that you really need to work on. So I've been shifting my practice of writing to focus on keeping a record of rights like keeping a record of praises, um, keeping a record of things that happened that I knew were little winks from God, um, writing out some prayer requests, but nothing detailed, not like I used to do where I used to say, oh, this was the worst day on record, you know, and stuff like that. So I would love to know when it comes to, you know, seeking the Lord in the morning time and how you right. I, do you have any like personal tips or tools that have helped you to keep your writing maybe more structured or um, more focused on, on him and his glory, glorifying him? And here's another question. How does that impact your behavior on social media? It's all the written word, almost all the written word. Um, I'd like to know that too, because it's an area that I've been studying a lot on. How do we navigate social media as Christians in these divisive days? Anyway, I need to get into my uh, doctor's office here, and it was so good to talk to you this morning. Tomorrow is day 10 of the Morning Miracles Challenge, where we'll be doing a little reflection and wrap up, and I look forward to doing that with you. So please leave me a comment below and I will see you tomorrow. All right.